Hello guys, welcome to another new example and probably the final example on linear dependence and linear independence of solutions okay, to differential equations. So for this problem we have to discuss the linear dependence or independence of the solutions of the differential equation y prime prime plus 6y prime plus 13y equal to 0. So let's begin. So we begin by finding the solutions of this differential equation so to find the solutions of the differential equation i have y prime prime plus 6y prime plus what 13y equal to zero so the characteristic equation equation is for this case we have d square plus 6d and plus 13 equal to zero Okay, so this is my characteristic equation. So solving for d using quadratic formula, I have d is equal to minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 square minus 4ac, which is 4 times 1 times 13 and all over 2. So I have d is equal to minus 6 plus or minus the square root of uh, 36 minus 52 all over 2 so we have negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 16 over 2 i'm sure 36 plus 16 gives me um, 52 then d is equal to minus 6 plus or minus j4 over 2 which results to negative 3 plus or minus j2 so this is for d now um d can be written as negative 3 um plus okay j2 or negative 3 minus j2 in fact the general solution whenever we have complex case is y is given to me as um exponential the um real part which is negative 3 and t and now have into c1 um cos okay the imaginary part is what 2t plus c2 sine 2t like this okay so for this particular reason i can break this into two solutions in this form exponential minus 3t then c1 cos 2t plus exponential minus 3t c2 cos sine uh, 2t so in this particular form i can get my y1 as um without the arbitrary constant exponential negative 3t cos 2t and my y2 is exponential negative 3t sine 2t okay so these are going to be my base solutions in this particular form and i have established y1 should be exponential negative 3t then cos 2t then y2 should be exponential negative 3t sine 2t then we are going to find the Roscan of y1 and y2 exponential negative 3t cos 2t and uh, we have uh, exponential negative 3t sine 2t so this is going to be the matrix formed in this way exponential negative 3t and cos 2t when we differentiate it we are going to hold 2t differentiating exponential negative 3t you get negative 3 exponential negative 3t then you keep your cos 2t then you hold this one while you differentiate cos 2t differentiating cos 2t you get minus 2 sine 2t but i'll put the 2 before the exponential negative 3t which we also held and you now have a sine 2t over here okay so you're now having um your exponential negative 3t then sine 2t then you want to find the derivative so let's differentiate exponential negative 3t and we'll get negative 3 exponential negative 3t then we keep sine 2t then we now what next thank you very much we will now um hold exponential 3t and differentiate sine 2t which gives me 2 plus 2t 
So I'll have 2, then exponential negative 3t, then cos 2t. So this is um, the 2 by 2 matrix that will be formed. So going further to find the determinant, first and foremost, I would like to factor out what I think is common. In the first column, exponential negative 3t is common. Okay. And in the second column, exponential 3t is also common. Exponential negative 3t is also common. So the new columns is going to be cos 2t. Then you have negative 3 cos 2t. Then negative 2 sine 2t. Then in this place, you get sine 2t. Then you now have um, negative 3 sine 2t then plus you have um, 2 cos 2t like this so you are going to find the determinant so finding the determinant now exponential negative 6t okay by the product of these guys together so we we'll have a big bracket so this times this is going to give me um first of all i have cos 2t open bracket negative 3 sine 2t and plus 2 cos 2t okay then minus this times this is going to give me sine 2t into negative 3 cos 2t negative 2 sine 2t like this so solving for that we'll have expansion negative 6t Open bracket this times this is negative 3 sine 2t cos 2t so this times this is plus 2 cos squared 2t okay and this times this with this minus and this minus sign is a plus 3 okay sine 2t cos 2t and finally this times this together with this minus sign is going to be a plus we have 2 sine squared 2t and that's okay so we will now discover that these two terms that are algebraically alike they will cancel out so we are now left with this and this so we now have our run scan of exponential negative 3t um, cos 2t then exponential negative 3t sine 2t is going to be exponential minus 6t and into 2 cos squared 2t plus 2 sine squared 2t so 2 cos squared 2t plus 2 sine squared 2t is equal to 2 because exponential negative 6t when you factor out 2 you get 2 then you have cos squared 2t plus sine squared 2t and cos squared 2t plus sine squared 2t is actually 1 so you have 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times exponential negative 60 is 2 exponential negative 6t so this is the wrong scan for exponential negative 3t cos 2t and exponential negative 3t sine 2t and it is not equal to 0 okay so since it's not equal to zero we can now comment that what the solutions exponential negative 3t cos 2t and exponential negative 3t sine 2t are linearly independent since the wrong scan is not equal to zero so that is about this problem um i hope you understood the steps leading down to this point so we are going to wrap it up here for problems dealing with wrong scan i'll believe that from this point onwards we should be able to tackle um problems about wrong scan um maybe you might encounter it later when we are doing variation of parameters again but in the meantime we have exhausted multiple um, problems on wrong scan and if this is just the first video that you're watching in this series if you check the playlist you discover that there have been um, um, tons of videos explaining wrong scan linear dependence and linear independence please feel free to check on them watch them like them subscribe to my channel 
hit the notification button to stay updated and share this channel um, to your friends and to your colleagues and to people that you know it will be relevant to. Uh, in the meanwhile, um, look forward to seeing you in other videos. Um, we are going to look next at method of solving non-homogeneous differential equations, uh, second order differential equations through the method of only undetermined coefficients and probably the method of um, uh, variation of parameters. Um, we are also going to look at Laplace transform which I believe you will um, enjoy. It's one of the coolest parts of ODE and it simplifies the way we approach um, solutions to ordinary differential equations. So um, having said all this, uh, stay good, stay cool, stay active, keep solving, don't stop solving. Okay, the world is yet to hear your own side. Okay, contributions to solutions to the main problems that are arriving in the universe. So, um, take good care. I'll see you next time. Bye.